to the U.S. presidential race now, where Donald Trump has claimed a sensational win in the Republican Party's Nevada caucus, notching up a third straight victory against the main rivals, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. The billionaire took over 40% of the vote, while Rubio and Cruz are battling out for second place in the polls. Well, true to form, Trump uh, found ways to gain public support in the state, even when out of the spotlight. Because to put them in our jails, they didn't pay the electric bill. To put them... Oh, I like that much better. Oh. Well, there's been uh, no shortage of controversial views expressed in the debate so far. Ted Cruz suggested carpet bombing territory controlled by Islamic State in Syria, an area still home to hundreds of thousands of civilians. Donald Trump wants to build a giant wall along the entire border with Mexico. And Marco Rubio has accused Russia's president of trying to destabilize Europe. We asked media and legal analyst Lionel for his thoughts on the U.S. presidential race. The thing that people must remember is that we have two basic parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, and it's the parties who determine the rules. It's the parties that determine who gets the nomination. And these rules are not subject to court order, not subject to our Constitution. These are private groups, so to speak, that have their own rule. But right now it appears that Donald Trump, irrespective of what many people wish were so, is on a juggernaut. And the momentum breeds momentum. So that right now he is the front runner. And he is called the front runner, even though most people, I respectfully submit, couldn't tell you specific plans and platforms, but just remember those hot button bumper sticker issues. Thank you, everybody. I love you. Thank well, not everything uh, has gone smoothly during the Nevada caucus. There were reports of long queues and missing ballots. Others said no one was checking IDs, and a man was accused of voting irregularities. Meanwhile, new voting laws passed in 15 American states have added an extra complication to the presidential race. Voters are now required to produce photographic ID before casting their ballot in a move to prevent fraud. But critics argue that the measures effectively shut a large number of people out of the system. Uh, we cut Obama by 5%, uh, which was big. I think that probably photo ID had a, a helped a bit in that. Oh, no! You're saying the thing that everyone knows, but you're not supposed to say out loud. 